Hey, what's up everyone? My name is John Aguinaga and I am a third year PhD candidate at the University of California, Davis. I research how individuals consistently vary in the way that they collect and use information to make behavioral decisions in their environment. In the Laskowski lab, we study the development of animal personality, as well as its consequences on groups and on populations. But when folks usually think about animal personality, they may often immediately think about their pet. Maybe one of your pets is very active and social, and the other is lazy and aggressive when they meet new people. In the field of behavioral ecology, we test the assumptions about what personality traits are by rigorously assaying individuals through repeated trials. We take this large data set and process it using really awesome automated tracking software to quantify behavioral characteristics. Now, in the Laskowski lab, we use a unique species of fish called the Amazon molly, or Pacilia formosa. The Amazon molly is a unisexual species of fish, all female, that reproduce clonally. Often these animals live in highly polluted waters and their behavior must be adjusted due to increased abundance of predators or even the inability to see what's in front of them. And sometimes animals in general adjust their behavior in response to how diseased or how much parasite load they are carrying. My lab mate Kirsten and I, we set out to sample three different locations in southern Texas to address how parasite load influences consistent individual differences in behavior or animal personality. These fish were found in very polluted waters, near freeways, roads, construction sites, which were polluted with sewage, trash, and other debris. We often needed to take breaks to prevent ourselves from overheating, um, and this was a very useful experience. The show, the camera. Is that an Amazon? I think so. <laughs> so, once the fish were collected, we transported them back to our Airbnb garage and conducted repeated trials on each individual. Each individual was placed in a unique cup to keep track of their identity and placed inside an experimental pool. They acclimated in a Tupperware and were released while cameras recorded overhead. After around 10 minutes, the fish were startled with a very high-tech pool noodle, and previous studies have found that using these types of pool noodles does elicit an anti-predator response, such as darting for coverage. Currently, the video data of this experiment is still being processed, but we will use automated tracking software such as this one to speed up the process. And once all trials have been completed, individual fish were placed into ethanol, we will be able to evaluate how exactly is parasite load influencing behavior by matching the parasite data with the behavioral data. Are individuals who are more infected less likely to be active or acquire food? or is the opposite observed. So, stay tuned for exciting results from the Laskowski Lab coming to you in the future.